wicked silence rattles PDP. In recent days, the country home of the River State Governor, Yeson Wiki in Podakot, the River State Capital, has become a maker of some sort for top placed Nigerian politicians who keep flooding there for private visits with the former presidential aspirant of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. The visit become, became more intense shortly after the May 28, 2022 PDP presidential special convention in Abuja, where he came second to former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, who won the Kenley contensor race to be the presidential candidate of the opposition party in the 2023 general election. Earlier in May, Governor Wike had transversed all the states of the Federation to meet face-to-face -face with special delegates of the convention. He used the opportunity to convince them of his capacity to wrest power from the All Progressive Congress, APC, if given the PDP ticket for 2023. We spent money. Yes, money was spent. It dissipated so much energy that it reached out to the high and the low in the PDP camp to sway favor and whip up sentiment to its advantage. Very unfortunately, indeed, all of that efforts crashed in the night of May 28 in Abuja, when the delegates chose to turn court in favor of the former vice president, Atiku Abubaka. A very well assured wiki was moved by the role played by the organizers of the convention by allowing the Sokotese governor and his itato strong political ally, Amin Waziri Tambua, to speak twice, having mounted the dice first and begged the delegate to cast their vote for him Wiki reason that was the second appearance of Tambua on the stage where he stepped down for Atiku and pleaded with delegates from the state and strong like Sokoto, Jigawa, Kano, among others, to direct their votes to Atiku that changed his political destiny. Flashback to October 2018, PDP presidential convention held in Portaco. Wiki was the bulwark force Tambua ever needed to square with Atiku and other contestants, like former Senate President Bukola Sharaki, Senator Rabi Kwankwaso, former Governor of Jigawa State, Sule Lamido, and former Governor of Kano State, Ibrahim Shekaru, among others. The fact that Atiku won that election with 1,532 votes to beat Tambua, who scored 698, showed how close and keen the contest was given and the strong backing Governor Wike gave to his assumed political friend from Sokoto. Natural law posits that one good turn deserves another. It was clearly observed that the moment Tambua declares intention to contest the 2022 primary, Treasury will be the name of the game from the weakest camp across the country. Tambua was expected to, back, to pay back the gesture Wicked willingly gave to him, not just during the 2018 primary election, but other social and humanitarian favor over the years. First of all, when the zoning arrangement was first mentioned by the PDP, the likes of Tambua was expected to throw his weight behind the southern part of Nigeria to produce the next president. He was fully aware that his own friend and body across the Niger had his eyes facilitated on the PDP presidential ticket for the 2023 election. It was therefore not out of place to feel betrayed the way Wiki and his team supporters did when Tambula praised all us and stepped down for Atiku Abubakar at the 2022 convention. We gave the former vice president an edge over the River State Governor. Going forward, political pundits having aggregated the positive indices that make Wiki so tick at this, in his recent high political profiling, found solace in the fact that the River State Governor will be a good material for Tuku as his running mate. Going into the next year election, name of Udom Emmanuel, Efanyo Kowa, and Yisa Wike, and Opaiban said Delta said that River State were put forward by the National Working Committee of the PDP for Tuku to pick for. 
a debate was subjected to voting, and Governor Wilson Wicked Wicked Ghana 16 out of the 19 votes cast, which is about 90 percent, 95 percent. This immediately prompted the question as to why Wicked was not chosen by Tuku in the final analysis, but opted for Ifan Yokowa. The reason some asserted in out of PDP over Wicked's choice has since packed on ease in the camp of the governor, not just in River State, but across Nigeria. There's no question like Wicked political profile in the build up to the last convention as to what over by the influence of Florence Okoa must have emerged to further game over the year. Given his emergence, some APC members in Okoa's Delta State went into jubilation following the announcement of Okoa as Atiku's running mate. The position is that the Delta State governor has no formidable political stronghold that can win election for the PDP. They pass a sweep judgment. So there, will, there is nothing on ground for the past seven years of his administration for COA to marry the appointment as vice presidential candidate, often other than Uzi on Wiki. However, the influence of prominent few political figures to the country, Omo Wiki, of other George in particular, indicates a red flag that something sinister may be in the office. Allegation was raped that we came and dumped the PDP as a way of asserting his fury over the undesirable treatment made on him by his own party. The governor has since debunked that rumor of possible defection, but the visit of some high ranking political top notch of the governor in quick succession causes some degree of palpitation, not just among the followers, but some panic in the political circle. Only on Wednesday, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, former vice presidential candidate in the 2019 general election, Peter Ubi, visited Wiki in his hometown. The meeting information was said to be on about 2023. Wiki Ubi, Peter Ubi, visited others to have been there. And what they are saying, is that they are all doing permutation. The governor has already debunked that. Only on Wednesday, another person came visiting. The meeting information said was a private one, and so the details could not be made public. But on his Twitter account, he said it was important to discuss some national issues with Wiki, the former governor of a number of states whose popularity is spreading across Nigeria like a wildfire, particularly among the social media service youth of the country had already submitted the name of Dunyo Kupe as a placeholder for presidential election. Well, do you think this visit of the Wiki is really bringing Ratu into PDP? What is your take on it? It's free to receive anybody. This is political, uh, this is election time. And anybody can come and visit to seek for your support. Maybe we will be went there to seek for your support. Now that he's not a presidential candidate like him. So, let's see what happens. The elections around the corner will be leave PDP. Will Peter, will Wiki leave PDP? That is the big question that people are waiting for. Kindly make your opinion known as you subscribe to my page. Thank you, good day, and God bless.